What is up, my Lorcana goons? Welcome back to the Lorcana goons channel. My name is Kevin. You're watching the Monday Weekly Market Watch video. We do these every Monday and Friday. We talk about Lorcana news, market prices, and meta trends. I hope you guys are doing good at the start of your week. There are some cards that I want to talk about now that we are in like the first official week of the Shimmering Skies meta. We have all the content creators making videos about which decks are the best. Uh, coverage from tournaments. Shout out Lorcana villain for the awesome tournament report coverage i always love seeing those um and a bunch of other stuff kind of dictating all of the card prices which is pretty cool so we're here to talk about some of these cards starting with rapunzel which feels like the spice of the week considering that amber steel looks like it's everywhere again um i see it a lot at my locals i've been hearing about how crazy good naveen is with whole new world and it's looking like uh where people want to start playing rapunzel again this format might not be only because of amber steel you know i think amber is good in a lot of decks you can play amber uh with amber emerald which is nice you can play amber even with amber sapphire in my opinion uh but lowest verified for the rapunzel's today is going to be 48 dollars with a dollar shipping by king ygo then it goes to suli's abode 50 dollars for your non-foil rapunzel's now i kind of regret not getting mine for 40 dollars they were just sitting at 40 for the longest time uh cold foils going by lowest verified dang the lowest verified is not even on the first page but plenty of non-verified sellers have them for 69 70 73 ish dollars 75 dollars almost for for a cold foil rapunzel yeah near mint for a cold foil rapunzel going by verified is actually 80 dollars basically by suli's abode so that's kind of wild these are jumping up in price beast tragic hero actually coming down in price a little bit still not necessarily in that 50 dollars range anymore kitchen table games florida has them for 42.99 they have two of them uh win condition has them for 43 with shipping included for your beast tragic heroes cold foils though still pretty expensive there's a couple listings uh 27 is what it says and uh, lowest verified by tcg excursion 69.96 70 dollars for cold foil tragic hero beast sad beast robin or champion true it's still very popular especially in this kind of new amber steel format that we're uh, jumping into so from the end of august until now we've been seeing robin hood kind of climb back up in price lowest verified is now wild things games 40 dollars with a dollar 50 shipping for your robin hood champion of sherwood it's a very good one uh sorry it's a very good five drop character that you can ship from your one cost robin hood goons and check this out a lot of non-verified sellers have it for still close to that 40 dollar range even if you want the cold foil so um we have a low lowest uh seller here raku cards has them for 42.98 with a dollar shipping that's for a cold foil um mac dz tcg 42.7 with a dollar 20 shipping that's for a cold foil too only about four to five dollars more for cold foils going by uh, going by uh, some non-verified sellers if you want to help them out with some sales even going lows verified uh 46.55 by skynet is not bad so about six dollars more for the cold foil uh whereas the non-foils are 40 dollars for the robin hoods crazy uh prince naveen this is one of the best legendaries in the set from shimmering skies the most recent set uh 35 dollars still almost 40 dollars we have top deck tcg 34 49 for your prince naveens and if you want these naveens in cold foil there's still a decent amount of listings they're only less than 10 bucks more is what it's looking like uh hilltop tcg singles has the lowest verified for 46 dollars and a dollar 22 shipping and if you want them a little bit cheaper 45 50 by haggard industries right there a dollar 25 so about 45 bucks for your cold foil naveens maybe just a little bit more with that shipping uh clarabelle clarabelle just still kind of sticking around this 30 dollar price you know i thought it was gonna kind of fall under 30 after the hype but it's it's uh definitely keeping it's a uh, keeping it's uh, its value up here um going by verified sellers we got hill Til hilltop tcg singles for 32 dollars with a dollar 22 shipping uh schlum games lowest non-verified today shout out you 31 dollars and 99 cents with a dollar shipping so you can get it for just a little bit cheaper if you want to get it from some non-verified sellers but more than $30 for your Clarabells is what you got to pay now. And, you know, if you're watching the Market Watch videos every Monday and Friday from the first week of launch, and you would have known that we felt this card was very undervalued at $9, $10. So I picked up a bajillion of them. Uh, $45.85 is the lowest verified for cold foil Clarabells. Love to see that one. Brainwash Cards has you for that lowest verified. And they stick around that price uh, pretty much for the whole page. So there are $45 cold foils from the Shimmering Sky set, which is nice. Move 
Mufasa, ruler of Pride Rock, seeing definitely some play in uh, Ruby Sapphire, Ruby Emerald, even. Sorry, um, Sapphire Emerald, even. Um, there's a couple. There's a couple Sapphire variants you can play this Mufasa in. Still pretty expensive for a uh, non-inkable legendary. Top deck TCG has them for twenty-eight dollars and thirty-nine cents. So it's almost a thirty-dollar legendary from Shimmering Skies, which is pretty good. So we got like three really good legendaries in this set, which is honestly nice compared to like Rise of the Floodborne, where we only had Beast as our one good legendary from the set. Um, cold foils for the Mufasa are going to be $41 with $1.22 shipping for your cold foil Mufasa Pride. Uh, Mufasa Ruler of the Pride Rock is what he's called. Sisu Empowering Sibling, very powerful card, uh, kind of hitting that $15 mark and going up just a little bit past that. Mavericks has them for the lowest uh, verified today for $15.74 and they stick around that $15 to $16 range. There's a lot to go around. Cold foils for this card aren't too expensive either. They're only about $3 to $4 more. We have some non-verified sellers, plenty of them. Craig cards, Diamond Training for $20 and $1 shipping. That's some pretty good deal. I think for cold foil Sisus, uh, even the non, even the lowest verified uh, Koto Colin has you for twenty one twelve. So it's not too expensive for a cold foil legendary that I think is pretty relevant this format. Um, if you're an amber, if you're a ruby amethyst enjoyer like myself, this is uh, this is speaking to you. Um, or, or the enchant, this also has an enchanted rare that sells for less than hundred bucks, which is not bad. Uh, Diablo Devoted Herald. I this is my new best friend. <laughs> I I really do genuinely appreciate this card. Can't believe he's selling for about thirty ish dollars now. A little bit less every week is what it's looking like. Lowest verified is $30 with 87 cents. No longer near that like $32, $35 range. Even some non-verified sellers like Neat Gamers over here has it for 30 bucks. Shipping included. Shout out Neat Gamers for that low price. And cold foils for Diablos never seem to be too much more either. They're only about eight to ten bucks more. Neat Gamers has them for $38 shipping included. After that, we have Ninja's Cart Cat Card Shop. Okay, for $37.58 with a dollar shipping for your Diablos cold foil. Uh, Mufasa Betray Leader. Uh, this card's still sticking around that like 15 ish dollar price. It kind of fell off a little bit. It was selling for more than 15, but now it's like at 15 on the dot. The 1% TCG has them for 13.99 with the dollar shipping, so not bad at all. After that, they stick around 15. And if you want cold foil well, Mufasa's though, they're still pretty expensive. We saw these at 50 bucks about like three weeks ago, and they kind of did come down from that like 50 dollar range. But I feel like not many were selling for more than 40. And as of today, ABC's TCG has them for 39.95. So I think this is gonna settle at like a $40 cold foil Mufasa decks are just like a, a deck in Lorcana now you know every now and then I want to build a Mufasa deck so I think this is always going to have some type of longevity collectability um, because of the strategy that you can build behind this one card which is really cool and who knows maybe we'll get more floaters um, especially right now a lot of people are playing the Mufasa deck with Robin Hood or something uh, Robin Hood sharpshooter still selling for around 15 ish dollars kitchen table games has them for 1388 with shipping included so just a little bit less than 15 dollars I feel like I was seeing some sales over the weekend that were more than 15 um S S N S V N T C G has them for 13.89 as well so it's going to be a little bit less than 15 and these cold foil there's only 15 listings left uh but check this out they're kind of the same price <laughs> you know we have deals has them for 17.04 with a dollar 22 shipping kingsway collects has you for 19.44 uh with a dollar shipping so you know we see how clarabel jumped up from like 20 dollars to 45 dollars on the cold foil um you know market so we're i'm curious to see what happens with this robin hood and you know what i mean but we have a chance for this robin hood as well so i would compare it more to like sisu right uh i've been seeing jim hawkins go up in price a little bit actually check this out used to be less than eight dollars and then today lowest verified is now nine dollars troll and toad uh non-verified after that though hilltop tcg 850 with a dollar 22 shipping for your jim hawkins what's going on is there a jim hawkins decks um uh jim hawkins deck that i'm not aware about because i really want to play jim hawkins you guys got to tell me uh, a bunch of a uh, light played cold foils if you want some discounts but that was verified for a near mint is now 15 dollars by recon games shout out you guys i'm curious to know what the what the strategy is behind this are we playing library on jim hawkins are we playing the new pride rock uh location on Jim Hawkins you guys let me know what you guys are doing Hades are going up just a little bit they're getting close to that $10 range low is verified we have Lorcana Golden Lady for $8.95 there's a lot of people that have more than four of them for you so if you want to buy a play set of Hades uh, you know it's not a bad deal today cold foes are still pretty expensive though they stay around more than $30 because they are from the first chapter Serrano cards has you for $33.33 for your Hades 
Daisy Duck this week is still looking like it's selling close to $20 for the non-foil. Top Deck TCG has them for $17.79. Aranax has them for $17.99. So around $18. Even with shipping and tax, you're probably paying more. Uh, and the cold foil as low as verified is now $25 with four bucks shipping by House Rules Gaming. So that's almost $30 for your cold foil Daisy Ducks Donald State for your hyper aggro decks. Um, a whole new world been going up in price actually this week, which is cool to see. Lowest verified is now $12.50, no longer in that $10 range. So Lompoc Cards has them for the lowest verified. After that, they stick around $12 to $13-ish dollars if you scroll to the bottom of the page. And cold foils usually tend to be around $25. We have some light plates for $20, some non-verifieds for less than $25. And lowest verified is Cup and Neck Glubber Cards for $23.19 with $1.60 shipping. So about $25 right there. Uh, Piglet, Poop Pirate Captain. These are pretty cool. Look, we have one lowest verified for $2.11 with $1.27 shipping. After that, though, they have two of them. After that, though, Journeys and Games has them for $5 with $0.44 shipping included. Little Root Games has them for $6 shipping included. That's for the cold foil, actually. Uh, wow, yeah. Uh, after that, Discollect has them for $6.21 with $1 included sh uh, shipping. So they're like a $5 to $6 um, card right now. And the cold foils are still selling for around a little bit less than $10 if you get lucky. So I would look out for a pig... Uh, piglet poop pirate captain i know you can also get the uh the foil version from the luminaire's quest but still look out for that card it's a pretty expensive card now uh fishbone quill this card's pretty nice getting close to that 10 dollar mark again long pot collectibles 870 with shipping included lowest verified for your fishbone quill i think sapphire is kind of coming back into the meta so i think you should look out for that um that, this card as well cold foils are you know around 20 dollars still chris top deck has them for 19 dollars with a dollar 22 shipping for your cold foil fishbone quills like I was saying, a lot of people are playing Amber Steel. It's like the flavor of the week is what it feels like. Uh, I feel like Strength of a Raging Fire is going to start going back up soon. Dork Den Moncado has them for $4.19 with $1.27 shipping. So it's about $5 for your Strength of a Raging Fires. Which is kind of low in my opinion, considering that they've been like seven ish, eight dollars before in the past. Um, and in general, I think this is a card that's not really going to be bad in steel, uh, or you always just want to have it in your in, in your in your arsenal so you can make a steel deck. You know, it comes off very well with emerald steel because of Ursula or amber steel because you can sing it with all your characters in that deck. So always very nice. Uh, Hyper aggro still very popular in the meta. The lows are selling for ten dollars now. Lompoc collectibles has them for nine. 25 with shipping included. Aranax has them for $9.98 after that, so pretty much $10 after that one listing. Um, and Maleficent biding her time, the, the Amethyst card also is selling very close to $10. So, yeah, man, if you were holding your Lilo since the first chapter, ooh, you, are you, or if you've been picking them up since the first chapter, right now is a good time to start getting rid of them. You know, the Hyper Aggro meta is in demand, is what it's looking like. Cold foils are only a couple bucks more for your Lilos. I feel like these might. Uh, these at $13 looks like a steal to me when the non-foils are $10 already. You feel me? Patrice East Store has them for $12.99 with $1.50 shipping. After that, they get to $16. Wow. Little Root Games has them for $15.94 for the next verified. So I think I could see this being a $20, $20 cold foil, assuming Hyper Aggro sticks around in the, in the meta the way it is right now. Um, Shicha, the dedicated mother. This is the non-foil rare. These are selling for around three to four dollars, almost five dollars. Uh, Lois verified. Hold my neck. Beard has them for three seventy-five with a dollar twenty-seven shipping. Non-verified sellers have them for two seventy-five with a dollar twenty-seven shipping. So you're gonna pay about four dollars still for your Chichas and the league promos. There's not that many listings. It's only six listings. We have digital high five for four sixty with three bucks shipping. So that's about like seven to eight dollars. And after that. TCG Central has them for $13.99. Red Rhino has them for $14. And then the lowest one at the page is $25. Um, this person has 20 of them, though, Red Rhino. So it's, I don't think that's ever going to happen where we hit that high. But still, it's, it could be like about a $10 league promo which is kind of cool at least right now because obviously there's some people that have a bunch of them so i mean if you win these try and trade them right now <laughs> in my opinion cusco selfish emperor these are some cool cold foils right now that i'm looking at a uh, cold foil the cuscos are selling for almost ten dollars like more like eight dollars 772 by big pig collectibles shout out you guys love to see that one um yeah so cusco used in a lot of the sapphire decks because you need outs to locations you need outs to items sometimes and cusco quest for two has that extra ability as well uh right now the cold fells are pretty expensive i feel like because the set has only been out at the local game store level and once we get like the release at the end of the week at like target and all that stuff we're gonna see some of these prices come down for sure but regardless it's just hard to pull good cold foils in larkana so i can see the demand for it
With Amber Steel Meta comes the rise again of Sleepy's Flute. These are starting to sell for more than $5 again today. They used to be around $2 to $3 a couple weeks ago when nobody was playing this deck. But now, check it out. Tactigon has cold foils for $4 and $1.50. Dice Guys has them for $4.20 with $1.27 shipping. And then ABC's TCG has them for $6 already for your cold foil Sleepy's Flute. So again, if you've been holding these since, you know, your previous sets or just kind of picking them up as you go in previous sets, you right now they're they're a little bit hype they're pumping up which is pretty good uh, maximus team champion i'm seeing people find uh some good success with this card in their ruby amber decks and some other decks which is pretty cool uh cold foils for these are selling for around three ish dollars which is not bad 276 for within dollar 27 shipping by nerd zone linton um i think this card has potential um i feel like if i see these in someone's trades binder the the cold foils specifically um then i want to like kind of start grabbing some of these uh, you know it could be a very good super rare card in the future uh pete games referee this card's still super expensive for the cold foil top deck tcg is verified seven dollars and fifty cents and there's plenty of people buying these for almost eight dollars for um this cold foil uncommon which is pretty rad <laughs> uh and after that they hit eight dollars again by farm tcg uh for your peak games referee you can play this in amber steel too like amber steel just you know you can play the best cards right now you can play naveen you can play whole new world you can play pete you know and i think it's a very powerful deck but it's obviously not just Amber Steel. You can play it in Sapphire Steel and a bunch of other stuff too. So there's a demand for, for a lot of these staple cards. Another great staple card coming out of Shimmering Skies is the Library. This uncommon is selling for like five-ish dollars. Um, our Canic cards has it for four nineteen with a dollar twenty-seven shipping. Lowest non-verified is going to be four twenty-nine with a dollar twenty-seven shipping as well. And I do think these are staples, just like the Pete, just like the Maximus potentially. You know what I mean? Uh, last but not least, I want to go over some Enchanted that I've been noticing kind of go up in price. A lot of Tinkerbell selling for more than. 250 again which is cool lowest non-verified 270 and the lowest verified is eclipse cards and hobby for 269 and two dollars shipping for your enchanted tinkerbell so i feel like the first chapter in tinkerbells might start going up again soon uh clarabelle light on your hooves this one used to be closer to 100 bucks and now going by lowest verified they're 200 by the pokemon stadium um but non-verified sellers have them for about 20 bucks less so that's a pretty good discount trading collectible unite ck card shop all these people have it for less than 200 and you can, if you do want to get some enchanteds you can save a little bit of money right there uh you're welcome this one's selling for more than 100 bucks now pretty confidently uh, b elite gaming has them for a 112 with a dollar shipping and then trading collectible has them for 112 with a dollar shipping as well and look at this plenty of sales happening for more than 100 bucks now so if you were getting these for less than 100 bucks you came up because now they're like 120 and that's pretty cool for the you're welcome probably one of my favorite songs in all of disney by the way just i'm gonna say it every time um the all Oswalds from, uh, from the D23 set have come down. They're no longer like $50, $60. People are selling these for closer to $40. And a lot of people are buying them at $40. We have some non-verified sellers for $36. And then Hey Hey Hank Games has them for $37.50. So a little bit less than $40. Bucks. However, the Ursula, surprisingly enough, these are staying at $45. <laughs> you know, because these are playable in the meta. So these are staying at $45. People are buying them at $40, almost $50-ish. Uh, Lowest verified Hey Hank Games again. And the Bruno, I'm assuming because of the misprinted art error, it's going to stick around $45. I don't think it's going to drop below $45. Plenty of sales happening in that $45, uh, $50, $50, even $55 ish dollar range um, last week when we got the news. So, yeah, man. But that's going to be all for this week's Market Watch. You know, be sure to tune in again on Friday where I do the Market Watch with Zach Stone and go into much more detail. We take about double the time, even triple the time, about an hour just to talk about cards and whatnot. So, we appreciate you guys for that. Leave a like. We do appreciate you hitting that like button uh, and subscribing to the channel. It does support. We will see you goons the next time i can't wait to see what kind of decks unfold in the shimmering skies meta but until then stay tuned to lurkana goons